Hi, Sharon Danley here with a wrap up of the wardrobe styling and management series. Well, I hope this uh, little playlist has given you some ideas on how to look at creating style and management for your wardrobe. Like I said, it's not about showing you outfits and all that sort of thing. That is like the icing on the cake. Uh, please feel free to, uh, you know, post questions here and we'll answer them. And if there's anything else that you really would like to see around this particular uh, playlist uh, that we could add to it, just let me know in the comment section below. But in the meantime, I have some, a few more hints and some refocusing on some of the things that we've talked about that are important. So I have some more tips here for you. And uh, just to review a few of the things that we've talked about along the way, uh, just so that we get you focusing on what it is you need for you, how you're going to both style your wardrobe and how you're going to manage it so that you get the most bang for your buck, you feel and look your best, and wardrobing becomes a very simple thing in your life. You don't have to think about what you're going to wear, be concerned or anything, no matter what you put on your back, you'll always look and feel great. So here's a few more tips. Purchase for comfort, suitability and self-esteem. Everything should hang in your closet with an inch of space on either side or at least a manila envelope to be dropped between each item. This allows clothes to breathe, stay fresh, last longer and retard wrinkling. Organize all clothing, undergarments and accessories by color, style and or category. Avoid a lot of plaid, prints and patterns. Plain classic colors will stretch your wardrobe more and requires far less management. Purge every six months and give away items you haven't worn. This will always keep you updated and feeling good about your clothing. Plus, it helps to keep someone in needed clothing. Everybody wins. Always put your clothing away each day clean and in good repair. If you are working a five day week in a corporate office, then a good rule of thumb is to have enough clothes to get you through one and a half to two weeks worth of changes. Quality is more important than quantity. Double duty your wardrobe pieces. A jacket that is worn for business can also be used for a casual look, depending on what it's put with. Classic pieces are like turtlenecks, white shirts, uh, basic uh, black pants and skirts that can be worn in many situations. An individual picture of all your ensembles proves to be a very cost-effective use of time and energy and eliminates the question, what will I wear today? Each week, take 10 minutes to plan what you will wear for the next week using your pictures as a guide. Continue hanging your ensembles together for the upcoming week for efficiency. Then put your plan uh, uh, to manicure and your makeup together accordingly. Your wardrobe should be a natural extension of your body type. Staying within a color and style theme will create easy wardrobe flexibility and management. Learn to sew. It's an amazing skill that's fun and saves you a ton of money. Make use of a professional tailor or seamstress to alter, repair, or make individual pieces if you have fitting problems. Take advantage of personal shoppers that are in many department stores and specialty shops. There is no extra charge and they save you loads of time in picking out what suits your body type, keeping in mind your preferences and help avoid costly shopping mistakes. According to Carolina Herrera, the best tool you can have is a full length mirror. And I suggest a three way mirror wherever possible. Keep everything organized to save time and energy which adds to confidence and expresses to others that you are a savvy individual. If confused, seek the advice of an experienced consultant. Generally, the more seen you, 
that you are, the more traditional you dress. So if you are looking to advance, dress for where you are headed rather than where you are. Pay attention to detail. A great ensemble can provide you with armor or softness, whichever you need. The more simple the cut, your clothes and your accessories, the more versatility you will have. One simple neutral suit can be made to look elegant, casual or whimsical. Black and gray are perfect for every occasion and go together extremely well. So that's it for this little playlist. I hope it's been helpful. Remember, like I said, it was just about styling and management. It's up to you to grab pictures for yourself and put them on a Pinterest board or something like that and, and create some categories for yourself. Think about you know the kind of business you're in or not and how you, your wardrobe needs to be uh, uh, designed to suit you and your lifestyle. What your body frame and style is like, what best suits you and what colors you like, etc. Put that all together. Do it on paper first before you wear out your feet doing it. And remember, with this approach, this organized approach, you will always look and feel great. Your pocketbook will, uh, will be saved some extra coinage and uh, it'll just be a better, easier way of living and you'll, you'll, you'll just enjoy the whole process of uh, style management much, much more. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I will see you soon with some other things on makeup, hair, or who knows what next time. Thank you. See ya.